Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we are trying to find the mode value of an array. This array has a size of 99. And we are talking about the response array. This is an array that stores 99 responses to a survey and each response is a number from 1 to 9. And we want to find the mode of this array using this mode function and we are giving the mode function two arrays. One is the frequency array and second is the response array. The frequency array will be storing the frequency of each number. So it will store for example that number 8 is occurred how many times inside of the response array. Let's go and see how this mode function works. You can see that the mode function has been given two arrays as arguments, the frequency array and the responses array. So basically, instead of the answer, we have passed responses and for frequency, we have passed the frequency array. First, we are going to print a header for the output of this program. Then we are going to initialize all of the elements of this frequency array. Then we are going to go over each one of the elements of the answer array or the response array. And for each occurrence of a number, we are going to add one to the frequency array for that number. So for example, for index zero of the responses array, we will have six in here and this will evaluate to six. You can see that the first element is six. And here in the frequency array, one will be added to the sixth element of a frequency array. And that's how we count the occurrence of elements in the response array. Then we are going to print some other headers. The first variable is going to store the largest occurrence of any number that is going to happen in the response array. And the second value is going to see that the largest response belongs to which number. Now here the real calculation of a mode is going to start to happen. In this for loop we start from 1 and we go to 9. That's basically the responses. And we will see that for example for response 1 if response 1 has higher frequency than the largest frequency, then we are going to assign the largest frequency the value of this response. And we store the response itself into the mode value. And the response is basically the rating. And to print the bar chart for each one of these ratings or responses, we will use a for loop that will print as many asterisks as the number of that ratings frequency. And finally, we are going to print some results. Let's go and execute this program. Now you can see that we have our header in here. Then we have these headers in here. And then we have each response with the frequency of occurrence and a corresponding bar chart for that response. And finally, we have our results, which was printed using this printf. The mode is the most frequent value. And for this run, the mode is 8, which occurred 27 times. So basically, mode is the most frequent value or the most frequent response that has happened in the responses array. And that is 8. You can see that 8 has about 27 frequencies and the responses array and that is larger than any other response that we have and that's it for this episode i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to see you in the coming episodes stay tuned